Welcome, everyone, to the Triple Threat Podcast. You found it this week on iTunes, uh, where you have rate and reviewed us, and you have given us uh, all of the stars, as the kids would say these days. Uh, joined uh, with me, who am I? <laughs> Are you sure you want to know? Um, the story of my life is not for the faint of heart. Thanks, Spider-Man. I'm joined by uh, Matt and Alex on the uh, east coast of Canada. I'm Will on the west coast. That's really all you need to know. This week we're going to be shooting the breeze and talking shop and and uh, kind of meeting by the water cooler and talking about all our happenings and have happens, have happens, things that have back, happened. Man, you were gone last you're week. You were absent last week, so you're back. I was absent. Yeah, that's right. I was on a. I was back on a. In the saddle again. I'm back. Uh, I was on a boat, oh, right? Uh, Mother Trucker, as the Lonely Island with boys T-Pain? would say, with T Pain, T I, two different people. Uh, T I and T Pain are two different people. Yes, they are two different people, and we're to be, be discussing the difference between T I and T Pain. I T Pain, yeah, at length, at length, yeah. This at length. week yes, on the Triple son. Threat podcast, hit the music. Right, thanks everybody for Me. listening to that song. We got to come Beautiful out of these song. Uh, the song a little. When bit beneath better. my wings was a good choice this week. Man. <laughs> it's almost as good. It's as always we, different. Every almost as good. So as Will, all the Cowboys gun. So Will, we uh, you're telling people to rate and review. What's your review of last week's Willness? Mostly yeah, Willness, Willness podcast. podcast. If you listen to it, which we know you did, uh, I definitely did. Actually, I was uh, I quite in, I quite enjoyed it. That you guys did a good job. Uh, I did actually. Thank you. I like the actually. Actually, believe it or not, <laughs> I didn't hate it. I well, thought I would hate it. <laughs> We're not canceled yet. Um, no. Every yeah, the iTunes <laughs> people haven't uh, haven't checked our numbers and been like, yeah, we're not going to renew them for a, a second season. They're not the yeah, we're not a bad judge or A to Z. Yes, or Manhattan both. Love Story. At what yes, love story? Also that Manhattan. The first one canceled. Oh, the first one canceled. Eh? Well, yep. uh, there you go. The first couple of victims. What was it? There was like one, the like one or two years ago, called the the Beautiful Life, uh, and that yeah. was canceled after like two episodes or one episode. How to or be something. a gentleman was clo- was canceled Cancel- pretty quick. Yeah, like after two or and three. Lone Lone Star by, from Fox was also canceled quick, but that was actually good. You liked Lone Star. I'm waiting for a show where after the second commercial breaks, someone just steps out and like, out. you know what, we're done. Yeah, this is like a Studio 60 type thing where like yeah, the there's like <laughs> producer there's 12, comes out. Twelve people are watching. The I show. never got we're past done. that scene trying to watch that show. I never saw the show. I what watched like the anything? first show of Studio 60, and the producer comes out and he's like, so melodramatic about like the sketch show and how it's not up to snuff you're just like all right aaron aaron sorkin why don't you chill out <laughs> we need to get these I sketches never. need to be a little bit better yeah that's, your that's, how feel about them. that's, that's just Lauren. close to Lauren. i mean the show was who was the guy though it was i don't know some guy <laughs> okay who's that guy so uh, a friend of mine um who has an in um told me and that's the douchiest thing i've ever said but uh, a friend of mine <laughs> told me that uh one of the cast members of The Beautiful Life has a tattoo that says The Beautiful Life. So there you go. For the oh. rest of their own beautiful life, they'll be reminded of their terrible flop failure of a show. I don't even know what show that is. Uh, it was like a show starring a bunch of models. I don't know. It was, it oh, was, like, oh, it was like on CW, wasn't it? Yeah, a CW show starring a bunch of models. Yeah. It was, uh, it was ridiculous. But I have actually, in listening to last week's show... I've prepared. Oh God! Put, An A to Z quote, rundown. Qu- quotation uh, a marks list. on that. Uh, I've prepared. I'm a, prepared. Um, I've, I've had a, a series of rebuttals, and I actually, obviously, it's it's rebuttals. It's, it's, it's an hour long. I don't even show. want context. Just say the rebuttals. I just I don't with no context, and we'll try and match them up later. Matt will match them up <laughs> with the with the audio. That's exactly what I was gonna do. Oh shit! That was sorry. The entire, that was sorry. The entirety of the gag. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. That's all right. We'll start over in three, oh, three, three two. Well, welcome to the triple <laughs> what? what, what? <laughs> sorry, right, you, you do it, and then I'll pre- I'll act so, a uh, surprise. <laughs> so, but what what I need? I need one. I, I'm only asking for one interrupted minute, sixty uninterrupted <laughs> seconds of of a rebuttal, because um, <laughs> I. You know, listen to the whole show, and I, I um, had rebuttals for everything. 
I had something to say, but we don't have time for that right now, obviously, okay? So, uh, my one minute... When do you want that to start? Uh, rebuttal. Well, I got a timer Sorry. here. I got a timer well, on my, um, my iPhone well, 6. I mean, um, right. Apple is so one of our sponsors, so, by the way. So And uninterrupted, like unlike what's going on right now. Oh, because I'm interrupting you and you're, you don't want inter- interruptions. Right. It's me, yeah. the interrupter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> All right. Uh, so here comes the one minute uh, uh, rebuttal starting now. Yeah. No, yeah. He, no, yeah, exactly. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, oh, no. He had a great game. Yeah. No, they're really playing on fire. I think they're really clicking right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty crazy. You meant like nobody in my league has Roethlisberger. This is pretty crazy about that. 522 passing yards. Like he's coming out of nowhere. I'm not looking forward to the Ravens having a face in next week. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Tim was like, he was Netta Stein. He came out, remember that? And like Ryder, Str- Ryder Strong's his name, by the way. Ryder Strong is making fun of Tool Time. He called it Fool Time. And, and Netta Stein was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. You know, you know what I don't like is those little, um, the little orange and white and black little toffee things. Those are, yeah, yeah, those are bad. Or like the orange and white and black, uh, like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't like those. Uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter at William C. Vaughn. And, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. All right, and that's the timer. So there's my. Uh, oh, my... you hear the timer going off? Did you write that out? Did you write that out? Uh, I was going to. That's and then totally I, I right. Just didn't. That was, <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was looking forward to hearing something about DeLoreans at the end, but that's okay. Yeah. Maybe you had nothing. To we, add. we got a no. My thing. DeLoreans my my thing. Deep. I can add about DeLoreans is that um, you see them comedians and cars getting coffee episode uh, with yes, uh, Pat yeah, Oswald. Right. with Patton Oswalt, and he picks yeah. him up in the DeLorean and it breaks down. And it breaks down, and he gets and another one. DeLorean. Yeah, that's what happens. DeLorean. You get five hundred million dollars for your sitcom, so we don't. You know, yeah, currently we don't have that money. Is insanely rich. He's one of the like top five richest rich. people in Hollywood, next to Tyler Perry. It's crazy. Yeah, more Isn't than Katzenberg. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> the the Weinstein's. Okay, on, that's not uh, that's not stereotype. No, okay, that wasn't. They have their own production Racism. company. Racism. No, I, I'm just kidding. I, I Ste- Spielberg. I, I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. I think. More than Sidney Applebaum. Because he's got a show that's still in syndication. Like, he still gets syndication deals. I think he's signing another podcast. one, or he just did, where he's going to get even more money still. That yeah, Seinfeld doing syndication right. deal has to be. He's doing that. And he still does stand up. He still tours stand up constantly. Yeah. Yeah, he's, 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 he's like pretty spry for, for. Well, he's only like 50 60. something. Is he 60? 60. Yeah. He's got, he's probably has like TM, Cap- baby. He probably has the Captain America serum in him somewhere. Speaking he's of. He's a practitioner Captain America. Of, okay. <laughs> Speaking of Captain America, which we'll get to in a little bit, step um, on me. Don't miss this. Last did we ever talk week. about how I was trying to do? Did we ever a, talk about how that movie I didn't miss Captain it America this week? Last week, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Hold on, hold on. Did we ever talk about how Captain America: The Winter Soldier makes it sound like Captain America is the Winter Soldier? Yes, it, no, but it does make it seem that it way. should be. It should be yes. Captain America and the um, case of the Winter Soldier. Winter's the Lost Ark. No, ca- Captain America the versus the, the Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Yeah, maybe. That would work. Captain America. And his never... enemy, his eternal nemesis, the Winter Soldier. Well, it's an external nemesis. Or you say eternal. Eternal. I thought you said internal. internal. His internal nemesis. No. That's his well, appendicitis. I was going to say. <laughs> no, the serum, he's got this, this super serum. He doesn't have appendicitis. Can't even get drunk. His liver heals too quickly. Is that true? Well, that was, that yeah. was a good scene in the, the yeah. first one. So, Will, you're going to talk about um, the Marvel Phase 3. Yeah, and I've got to pull up, like, um, got to go to my friend Internet. This week, by the way, Triple Threat Podcast brought to you by the Internet. Um, check it out. It's on it's computers now. On it. It's on computers now. Uh, Internet, it's on computers now. So Marvel, basically, when SNL did their little uh, poke fun at the fact that Guardians of the Galaxy has done so well, and they're like, basically, Marvel can't fail. And they introduced all these wacky movies that obviously aren't going to get made. However, <laughs> Marvel actually has announced a bunch of wacky movies that um, will get made. Uh, and I think a lot of that is thanks to Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which had a sequel confirmed before the movie was released. It was like I remember it was a week before the movie was released they uh, introduced um, Marvel Phase 3. But I guess Marvel Phase Two ends with Avengers: Age of Ultron, right? 
I, I think Ant Man's actually still part of it. I this whole the whole like describing which phases are which is kind of pointless. But apparently, Ant Man is part of Phase Two. I don't know. Yeah, you you are I, right. It it actually you're right. It doesn't matter. And it, and you are right. It does end with Ant Man. And thank uh, you. It doesn't matter. And I know the answer. It doesn't matter. And you. It doesn't matter. And you're right. It started with. <laughs> <laughs> you're correct, but it doesn't matter at all. Yeah, nobody cares. And you're right. Good job. Uh, it started with Iron Man three. Uh, so it was Iron Man three, Thor two, Captain two. Guardians, Avengers 2, and Ant-Man. So that's phase two. Um, Three, nine. Yeah, for some reason... Well, these are these are Marvel Studios. So um, X-Men, which is done by Fox, I guess, uh, isn't getting... Um, I can't in, tell you how little I care about this right now. Isn't... Um, <laughs> isn't uh, <laughs> Really throw me for loop here. <laughs> well, X Men is owned by uh, X Men's owned by Fox, and Fantastic yes. Four I think is owned by Fox as well. The movie rights yes. to those are owned yes, by the Disney movie studios. Rights. Yes, and they only get to keep them as long as they keep making movies about them, which is why for some reason they're they trying to make another stop. Fantastic Four movie, which is stupid. It's that Miley Fantastic Cyrus Four movies thing. suck. And that's why. And that's Can't why stop, uh, won't stop. And, and, and that's why uh, Spider Man won't fight Wolverine because Spider Man's with Sony. Um, and, there was a rumor like a couple months ago about Sony possibly making some sort of deal with Marvel. They were like, what if we both made a lot of money and just had Spider-Man kind of with the Avengers at some point? I heard about that in the last like couple months. Well, That's what this song rumor has it by Adele's about. This is a totally unsubstantiated rumor, but uh, when Kevin Smith was on Chris Jericho's podcast, Talk is Jericho, um, check that podcast How out. How long ago was way. this? How long ago was this? Uh, a couple weeks ago. Okay, recently. Good. Yeah, Go it was before Tusk came out. And uh, they're talking about the fact that Marvel is owned by Disney and Star Wars is also owned by Disney. And uh, you can imagine, like, it's like it's not so unbelievable that maybe in 10 years you would see, you know, um, a Star Wars Marvel uh, mashup, possibly. If they run if they run their well dry, so dry, that maybe by 2024 you see, like, you know, Han and uh, Star-Lord or something. Guardians of the well, Galaxy I mean, find a galaxy far, 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 far away. That'd be a good one. Well, Will, what, uh, what else is – how else is Star Wars situated? It's, it's uh, far, far away, but what else is it? Where, when is the galaxy? It's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. And they, Can't do uh, it. They, Matt, they certainly I don't know don't how have any familiar way. with, with uh, astrological events, uh, wormholes. Yeah, uh, exactly. Black holes. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's comics. Uh, um, uh, it's, you know – uh, other things, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, dark matter and um, moon rocks. So they could, I mean, they could do a Star Wars Marvel things. crossover. They could do things. one of those. So but why not just much, put out two movies? They just opened a hole in the Earth, and then things from another galaxy came in, and then they threw a nuke there, and that closed it or something. It was above the blew, Earth, whatever. Alex. No, but there was, was like in a the portal. That's a difference. Yeah, it was above the Earth. Yeah, it was above the Earth. No. It was above middle. It's above the Kaiju's Midtown in, Manhattan. The Kaiju's You're telling me he didn't in, make? He didn't cross like any barrier there, where he just went like 50 million light years further away. Oh yeah, I guarantee you he did. Absolutely. It wasn't like there was a portal in the Earth. It was above the Earth. Yeah. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. There was a portal within the atmosphere of the Earth. Okay. Yeah, so okay, not in the ground Earth, but upon the planet and within yeah. its atmosphere yeah. that was visible to the rest of us uh, that brought them there. So I think they'll mm-hmm. figure something out. Yeah, I that's what I'm you. saying. It's it's they're so well, wildly fantastical. Um, yes, and I, I there's ways to do it. I had to finish my thought. The kaiju from oh. the Pacific Rim they <laughs> entered the Earth from uh, a portal in the ground. So right. they actually. I did not like Pacific Rim. Did we talk about that? Oh, yeah. I watched it. Did Let's talk like about it. that. It's always on TV now, and I actually watch it every time it's on. And uh, I saw it I, on I, an airplane. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, that's like a good. <laughs> okay, that's a weird way to see it. It's a really small screen to see it on. But I watched How to Train Your Dragon on a small screen too. And I like that first movie. Oh, no, it was a fifty inch. It was a fifty inch TV on on a plane. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I fly. Yeah, you like, had on your lap. What do you rapper f- class? Well, like first class, and then yeah, like Raekwon Ghostface Killer class. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, my bros. Oh, Raekwon of, class. Yeah, Matt, we got to hear this uh, story if you can tell it. Um, I don't know if there's much to tell. There's really it? not that much to tell. I'll be honest. Well, you're gonna tell it anyway because you kind of maybe eat brushed a celebrity once that wasn't. Uh... Hey man, I paid money to see those guys in concert earlier this year on Ian Hanlon in front of the show's birthday. You saw Wu Tang? Yeah, it wasn't a good show. Oh what? Oof. oof. Uh, was RZA but, there? But uh, see, I don't know. I have no idea who was there because the stage was so far <laughs> away. And I'll tell you who wear, was there? ODB. ODB. They all there. wear. Well, YDB was though. Um, uh, they all wear um, 
Yeah, they all wear a shirt with a letter on it, so you can't tell who's who. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. But Matt, what letter? You, uh, what letter specifically? Uh, w U T A N N G. Okay. <laughs> Which spells the I don't know. It could have spelled anything. <laughs> <laughs> you just said a letter. You didn't say the le- they could have I know, all I know, a shirt with I an know. A on it. I have that no idea. So Marvel Phase Three. Yeah, yeah. So what is the Marvel Phase Three? What is the uh, what's the order here, Will? Uh, in Marvel Phase Three. <laughs> Um, we just got, got, we've got Win Farfield. Wait a minute, but yeah, but you, you didn't tell that story though. I don't, I don't think I can. Okay, okay, he's, but he's, he's bound by the laws. I encountered of... them, and I encountered Ghostface Killer and Raekwon in a very um, uh, normal, a, a shockingly normal situation. Yeah, well, I can. I told the story of me meeting Summer Rae at work. I guess it's a little. Bit I met. Uh, well, well the, the the thing I liked was that there was a couple guys that were what doing kind a documentary of oath do you about take, uh, before taking that job where you can't say things. Uh, <laughs> you take the blood oath of the uh, yeah. it's, 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 <laughs> hotel it's years, the, uh, and now his watch has ended. <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I bonded with the guys who were doing a documentary about Ghostface Kill and Raekwon because they had a um, black magic pocket camera. Oh, you like, can talk cool. about them. Yeah, I can talk. But, about they're them. less it's important because no there's no context. There's so much. Yeah. Anyway, like- <laughs> before we talk about Phase Three, we maybe should mention um, the trailer that was recently leaked and then finally released for Avengers: Age of Ultron, uh, which will end Phase, which will almost end Phase Two of Marvel, oh except for Ant Man. Uh, but uh, yes, um, the star of that trailer to me was uh, James Bader, voicing Ultron. And he was perfectly creepy and sociopathic. It was pretty awesome. It is a very good uh, voice act. act. <clears throat> very good act. So much so that I did not know that was James Spader until Will just said it now. Yeah, the guy I from Blacklist. Yeah, I didn't know it was him either oh. until I was reminded of it later. No, he's not in Blackish. He's in Blacklist. Oh, he I thought he was Anthony was... Anderson's wife in Blackish. No, no sorry. Oh. He's the fedora in Blacklist. Oh, he's not the fedora on. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne's head in Blackish. Larry's no, head. No, he's the fedora on Bruno Mars's head in every oh. Bruno Mars performance he ever seen. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, so he's at, the, he's at the Super Dude's Bowl. Dude's getting work. Dude's getting work. He's like Eric know, Roberts. Right? <laughs> he's just like Eric Roberts. Go look point. at Eric Roberts' IMDb I know. page and tell me how many 2014 He was credits in a talking cat, of course. 66 credits from this year alone. <laughs> wow. If you I'm get dead. paid fifty bucks for each one, that's I'm not that much. Serious. Uh dude, your sister's Julia Roberts. You can just and your daughter's Emma Roberts. Just bum money from her if you need money. I found out he was Jennifer uh, Je- uh, wait, am I saying that right? Jennifer Roberts? Wait. Julia wait. Roberts? Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. <laughs> what did I say? I forgot. Did I say I said wrong? Jennifer No, he's the Julia Roberts. I found out he was Julia Roberts' brother as like three months ago. But apparently they were estranged for a while, so maybe they just found out too. Oh, he's always been strange. Uh, yeah, I guess he does uh, kind of look like her. I never thought about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All put, right then. Put put a wig on him. He goes as Pretty Woman for Halloween, which we'll talk about in a bit. Uh, anyway, oh, so the yes, the, the, the was that one Pretty Women a little bit? The age of uh, no Halloween. The age of uh, Ultron trailer. Uh, yeah, looks cool. I'm going to see it regardless. But uh, yeah, it looks really awesome. Uh, any yeah, any, any thoughts? I like, looks I like, like Iron Man and the uh, the Hulkbuster costume that he's got on. I saw the teaser one that they were kind of like not teaser, but they were kind of all trying to pick up Thor's hammer. I don't know if that's what yeah, you guys that saw. Cool is that too. the official one? That's the second one. They may okay. have put it out in Great Britain first, but yeah, that one's cool too. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even so I didn't see whatever the other one was because I just saw that one. Yeah, is there, it, it's pretty no much the more same. More perfect guy to ha- to run this franchise than um, than uh, Joss Whedon. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's run- yeah? I wouldn't say he's running the franchise, but yeah. Well, uh, what you know. Rights and direct. They were too, but in, uh, Avengers was too quippy, though. That's the one thing I didn't like. It was that it was too much like, meh, here's a little quip I have after punching an alien in the face. It was too quippy. I didn't like that. Yeah. Tiny. You'd rather, be like, you rather just like stream like, die, mother trucker, die, mother trucker, die, like in uh, that song like in that. Office Space. <laughs> there's got to be, a, there's got to be a, a good middle range. Okay, so <laughs> one thing I do range. like about this trailer, so. one thing I do like about this movie and trailer is that. If you know nothing about comic books, and this is something that Marvel's still pretty good about, you don't have to know anything. You, you like you know from the name of the movie and watch the trailer, like, oh, that must be Ultron because that's a robot name and that is an evil robot. And you don't really need anything else to go from. You don't need to have any prior knowledge of the comic books. You don't need to have picked up on every tiny Easter egg that was left behind in the last few Marvel movies. You can just be like, oh, that seems like a horrible robot guy, and we have to fight him now. 
good to know. And, nice it, and if you do know comic books and you're like, okay, I kind of see what they're doing here. Yeah. I think like, it's a uh, little, uh, you know, odd of you to say that no, that Ultron's only the name of a robot, but I don't know. Just yeah, I'm gonna, I've, I, it's, it's, I have friends. It's presumptuous named and it's rude. I have, I have friends named Ultron, sir. You have offended, mm-hmm. you have offended me and them. And they're not going to give our show. Choices. They're going to give our show a bad rating on iTunes. I'm going to give it two stars instead of five. Will, do you have the list of Marvel's Phase Three in front of you? Uh, yeah, I do. I managed to procure. Why, why, this. why don't you lay it out for us? Marvel Studios Phase Three. The confirmed films uh, are Captain America: Civil War, which used to be Serpent Society. What is that? Uh, that's, what happened with that, by the way? Uh, they I, I just want to understand the name why Civil, was it called Civil War? Maybe. When was it announced as Serpent Society, though? Uh, I'm not Marvel, so I don't know. Um, but that's, okay. uh, that's 2016, Doctor Strange, 2016, Guardians 2, 2017, Thor Ragnarok, um, which is, uh, 2017, Black Panther, 2017. The John Hodgman, uh, yeah. special. Uh, Ragnarok? Yeah. Yeah. Something okay. about the apocalypse. Yes. Oh, I was wondering what that was. I know there's a video game called Ragnarok. Um, and then... That's Fraggle. Avengers, that's Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock, yeah. No, it's not. Avengers... The Lord of Fraggle Rock. Infinity War Part 1 of Avengers 2018, Captain Marvel 2018, Inhumans 2018, and then Avengers Infinity War Part 2 2019. So looks like the third Avengers movie is going to be Cloven and Twain. And, someone uh, said we're see someone two described parts. it as the Avengers trilogy, and I was like, "Nope, that's four movies. Can't be a trilogy. Doesn't matter how many part ones and twos you put in front of it or behind it." Yeah, but not a trilogy. No, more. no, I guess not. It's like how they made yeah. the you know Hunger Games trilogies of a uh, quadrilogy. The um, I know we're all big fans of the octology? Twilight trilogy. Uh, octology, I guess it's a Scientology. I think at this point, when it's eight, it's a Scientology. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's why Tom had Tom Cruise uh, executive producer on that. On, everyone uh, knows that. Yeah, everyone knows Tom Cruise is going to produce uh, Harry Potter. And I don't That's even know what why call, we're talking about. It's, it's useless. Everybody knows that. It's, it's pretty so much common knowledge. It's like they saying call, the they sun call, uh, is a sun. Muggles non thetans That's all they do. <laughs> what are, did you mention the Fantastic Fours, or was I just not listening? That's just that's not Marvel. okay. So that's, that's not that's OC. what I said. It's Marvel oh, that, Studios, okay. Alex. The thing you thought you cared oh. so little about. Apparently, it matters a little bit darn more, doesn't it now? It doesn't sure. because I literally don't know what's happening right now. Where am I? Uh, okay, Alex is having one of his uh, flash. He's having an Ashton flashback one of his episodes. Just give him some time, folks. He'll get over it. It's really uh, entertaining, though. <laughs> uh, my eyes are darting yeah. back and forth like that guy in Identity. <laughs> okay. Like I have to describe what's. You have the wherewithal to describe the horrible things that are happening to your uncontrollable body right now. My eyes are darting back and forth. My hands are going everywhere. My neck is spinning around like an exorcist. It's crazy. I only said one of those things. I don't talk like that. Uh, I could see which <laughs> direction you were going. I could see. I could see you were having. Uh, oh man. I could. I could see you were. Uh, you were heading that way. That's. Uh, and I, I saw it, and I and I stopped it. So I have also um, an announcement from uh, DC. And DC's got a little bit of a different deal because all DC movies are done by Warner Brothers. Yes. Uh, which um, is nice. They got all their ducks in a row, so to speak. Um, the next DC movie that comes out is Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. And then uh, in 2016, they have Suicide Squad. 2017 is Wonder Woman and Justice League Part 1. 2018 is The Flash and Aquaman. You're looking like Aquaman. You're looking at Aquaman. <laughs> hey, Alex, we got to well, like, get off the same wavelength. What? Uh, I know, I know. Oh, 2019, sorry. I'll get on a different wavelength. You're not going to like it. I got, um, I, I got a little B&L thing to t- tell you about, too, after this. Um, 2019 oh, okay. is Shazam and Justice League Part 2. And 2020 is Cyborg and Green Lantern. Oh, boy. Better start working Again, out. I don't know what better, any of Better these start are. working out. Like... Cyborg, Suicide Squad, and humans. I don't know. We don't know. I don't, okay, I clearly know nothing about comics. Um, so I, I've never read a comic book in my life. But it's pretty. It's it. It's pretty easy. To just put Cyborg into Wikipedia, and they can. Uh, 
And they can tell you all about it because it's written by these comic book nerds. Thanks for listening to the show, I can't guys. Stand um, the rehashing of like even even with the new Andrew Garfield Spider Man's. It's like it's the exact same. It's not like further in the future. It's the exact same thing, just retold. Yeah. And now uh, Fantastic Four, they're like, whoops. And the Hulk. The Hulk was the Hulk. Uh, or sorry, the Incredible Hulk, then the Hulk or whatever, or vice versa. So 2003, it was the Eric Hulk Banner, to start, and then Incredible So the Hulk, the then the Incredible Hulk. Hulk with Edward Norton. And then they bring back the movie, Hulk though. for the Avengers. It was an okay movie. Uh, and, it's, and it's Mark <laughs> Ruffalo now. I was like, all right, come on. Do you know why Ruffalo stepped in? No, I don't. Because Edward Norton, Norton was, like, was upset about something. Uh, they weren't, yeah. He wanted enough. to uh, have more say in the movie. He was like, "Oh, I want to kind of like, I want to have creative control over this." And they're like, oh, "Over the Avengers?" No. Yes, get over like here. at least the Hulk and Avengers. So yeah, that's what they said. They said, "Get out of here. We can get uh, Mark Ruffalo, darling." Yeah, you can wear those pants. Those kind of like her pants, yeah. and that's about it. Yeah, exactly. What? what? Mm. He was wearing weird. We watched that movie. Mark Ruffalo wears some weird pants, and no one says anything about it. <laughs> well, it would be nice if they did. Because like, I know you get really upset when you get angry. Yeah, like, they make him angry when you get angry. But that. I do want to judge your pants to make fun of you. Yeah, the one exactly. thing, the, th- the thing I want to say about BNL is to hear that, you. Um, just be like, "What's up with his pants? He's not Captain America. He's been, you know, in the, living in this century." But whatever. Go ahead. Sorry. The thing about BNL I wanted to say is that uh, it was um, BNL for those uh, less bare uh, naked ladies, bare naked ladies, uh, Grammy winning Canadian band, uh, Billboard put, uh, award winning. I'm going to put the hash award, when, yeah. when we uh, when we uh, advertise this podcast. I'll put the hashtag B, uh, bare naked ladies, and then we'll get so many views. Uh, but um, it was karaoke Everyone night. Knows that's the hashtag. Yeah, it was karaoke, right. karaoke night and ukulele. Uh, on the weekend, which is where I was on the west coast of uh, Vancouver Island, this small fishing surfing town, uh, with it actually has one bar called Officials. And on Friday night it was karaoke night, and me and Ian Hanlon, friend of the show, did uh, the Bare Naked Ladies classic. If I had a million dollars, and it's uh. been it's been stuck in my head all <laughs> week, and it's been like every it's guy such a horrific like, song. Horrific. But not a real green dress. That's cool. Horrific, Alex. Can you pick a different adjective? I don't know. I, know it's not, I love being it's obviously That's not a terrible a, song. It's not a good song. It's it's really cheesy. No. Uh, I yeah, would say it's, it's horrific. I don't know. That's why we're two different people. <laughs> well, apparently not. I like it. That song. Apparently we're the same. Apparently uh, one and the same. Uh, but yes, so it was in my head, and I will sing it now, and it will be all in all of your heads. <clears throat> Key of mm. E minor. Wait, what? Why are we? Why are we? Was this E minor? Two, three, doing four, E minor. I'm sorry, there's a foghorn. <laughs> Have you ever heard there's there's songs? <laughs> See, what a horrific song. There, it's been the. the uh, do you guys know the Losing My Religion by REM? Mm-hmm. I, I've been told that it is. So that's, that song is in a minor key, but there's versions online where people have used software to update it to a major key. And it's like and super And just upbeat. changing that makes a song sound much, much happier. Yeah. If you can find it out, if you can find it, I really recommend seeing it. It's like, um, that's me in the corner. Yeah. That's me in the spot. Like, like it's very positive. Hmm. Interesting. So, so seek it out. It's very, it's interesting what just a change of from minor to major can do. Turns out to be a lot rockier. Yeah. Well, maybe I don't even know if it's, it's rockier. Just maybe a bit more. Um, I don't know, a bit more joyful. Uh, the rockier was just me. That's just my spin. That's the that's, sorry, that's, that's the, the, the rocky. rocky. Sorry, that's the rocky. Yeah, on a bugle apparently. <laughs> the guy's <laughs> fist yeah, that's in the I play. bell. I, I can only play. <laughs> I was. That's, that's the Bourbon Street version of the Rocky theme song. <laughs> that's like the that's a that's their funeral procession version where they like yes have exactly the sad guys I have like <laughs> three good things I can do three noises I can make one is a bugle one is sort of Marcel the Shell's voice and one is oh, okay uh, do the Marcel Seth the Shell no do the Marcel the, the Shell is usually I should have said to do that it because then you want me to do that no you shouldn't have said it <laughs> do no I know I agree we're on the same page same wave- wavelength. Get off! I gotta say that Jenny Jenny Slate does things with her voice that I think nobody else can, and I find them all <laughs> hilarious. Like when she's on yeah. what's um, what's her character's name high. on Parks and Parks and Rec, where she just makes a little oh Mona Lisa Savage. <laughs> <Savage. laughs> 
the, that's a show that does character names perfectly. By the way, John, look at the credits for character names. There's some glorious ones. Her, there. her, and John Ralph. The Saber scenes might be my favorite characters in that whole thing. Her and John Ralph. Because technically, I'm homeless. <laughs> she always like <laughs> just makes those little sounds. Hilarious. It's, it's, it's funny. Uh, that is uh, that Doesn't is like Harvey. Uh, no, what's his name? Harvey Firestein. Um, no, you mean um, no, Henry Winkler? Henry Winkler play there? Yeah, yeah, it's it's Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler. They were both <clears throat> in Little Nicky, and that's why I get confused. Did you guys see uh, SNL this week? Uh, uh, pause on no. Oh, yeah. no, the Chris Rock okay. episode. I yeah. saw one of the first sketches. I don't know what's going on, and I'm sorry for just jumping on this. Like, did they get a new director or something? I Why feel like a bad? lot of the sketches are coming out really mistimed and like poorly blocked. Even there is one. Oh, I'll, I'll say there is Did one. You see sketch. the camera angle in the Jim Carrey episode, <clears throat> which one? The Halloween episode when <laughs> they're Phil and Paul and they're in the yes, graveyard. Yeah, yeah. There's and one they point did a where they're, angle where they're sneaking over. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought they were. I thought, I thought that was supposed to be. No, part of it. that was not supposed uh, to be on it at all. Mm. That sucks. Yeah. That was a funny sketch though. Oh, it was hilarious. It was hysterical. But I'm just Paul wondering, Phil, like Phil the Chris Pratt one had a lot of like. Flat moments. From what I saw, the Chris Rock one had flat moments, and uh, I oh, heard there was Sarah there Sargent's was one was the same way. I don't know, so I don't know. But I like Leslie Jones a lot, and uh, she, they just put her and Chris in a sketch that was just. Um, there was obviously a cue card miscue because she came oh. left and came back, and she was just like. Uh, like and total, I feel bad for her because like she just became a featured player, so yeah, yeah. it's kind of like oh good, I screwed up uh, my first role and Chris Rock. It was also um, a very, it was also my might have been one of the the least inspired sketches I've seen from them. It just seemed like they had a feeling they were short on sketches for the show. <laughs> like we, yeah. we're missing segment eight. Like oh god, uh, here's the uh, sketch. Um, here's the sketch we cut from dress. Uh, someone go grab the cue cards. We shredded. I'll yeah. say that. I'll say the Why Chris shred these. The Chris Rock <laughs> episode was like that was okay. Uh, the Prince performance in it uh, is ten stars out of five. Oh man, I want to see that so okay, badly. I, I remember last that. last time he was on Saturday Night Live, he ended his performance by throwing his guitar in the air, and he just walked away, and the guitar didn't come down. Yeah, he's a, basically someone just retired. went and caught it. It was the greatest. His oh. Super Bowl performance is the great. He just starts oh, doing so Best good. of You by the Foo Fighters, and I lost my mind. Like, yes. it's he, crazy. That guy can do whatever he wants. He's and, so good. <laughs> so good, my man. And he's so one good. of. The- <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Um, he Jim Parsons. He's also he's got to be he's one of those ageless wonders. I think him and him and McCartney they're they're taking uh, the same the same age serum and and Seinfeld they all take the same. The Prince serum. is just he's just tiny. So that he's a tiny man. He's a little man. Yeah. I mean, um, I was just gonna say something. Okay, go ahead. Good, you can still say it. Good place oh. to say it. This is the form. No, I, I, I kind of we already passed it. But Leslie Jones as the uh, skeptic in that yes. uh, haunted house <laughs> one, <laughs> That's where she immediately becomes a believer. Oh yeah, she locks herself know, in the van. I know. Ted Killam's just you know he's great. He's, he's he's really good. He'll just carry anything he needs to. Like he's kind of like. I mean, you know, you don't have the haters or like those great guys that you had before, but you kind of can carry that role where he'll just fill in spaces in the sketch and, and nail it every time. Yeah, he's he's the guy right now. I'd say he's yeah. like the Sudeikis or the or the hater. Like he's the he's the guy. Uh, so is Moynihan um, in, in in his own way. I like Bobby a lot. I always have like like Bobby a whole lot too. Oh yeah, his first episode ever. I remember I hated him, but after that he was good. <laughs> Why did you hate him? What did, he, what did he do that made you so There was a sketch with uh, – it was Michael Phelps, and there was a sketch. It was his, like, first sketch, and he was a really obnoxious waiter or something like that, and it came off so horribly. And just, you know, Michael Phelps isn't going to pick up the slack on that. So I was just like, oh, this guy sucks. Michael, come on, Michael Phelps. Pick up them cues, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, he's, he's You're a performer, since, Michael, he's Michael since Phelps. been fantastic in basically everything ever. I see him oh, he's great. Someone in my building just died, just so you know. I heard that. I heard yeah. that. Yeah. Like Do you guys hear that? Yeah, we yes. did hear that. Okay. That was horrifying. Yeah, they're, definitely, they're definitely dead. Yeah, better better go outside and check. Bring the microphone with you. We'll do a live right. investigation. Investigation. And we're live. This will be very New interesting. Team six. Uh, what uh, was I going to say? Oh, um, good question. Yeah, that is a good question. Matt, what sorry, was I was I was say? really just I was really thrown off by that sudden death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Stranger. And I ain't talking about hockey. Uh, where the Canucks are oh. eight. And, where the Canucks are eight and three, by the way. Really? Yeah. Well, as of uh, the, as of yesterday, the they were. 
I mean, I know oh. they play the they play the Predators at home tonight, but Ryan Miller is seven and one. <clears throat> That's bananas, man. Uh, it, it's almost no, like, it's, it's almost like... ending. It's not bananas at all. But, well, yeah. Nothing well, good. I mean, but even when he was down in um, Buffalo. St. Louis? When he was in St. Louis, like, he was supposed okay. to be the guy, and then he really wasn't, so it's good to see him kind of, you know, still maintain form. Well, he, he, he's the, the kind of so. guy, he's kind of like Luongo. He's like, I, I'm, I can't be a backup. He's like, if I play, I want to play. Like, I got to be the number yeah. one guy. And, and uh, it does a lot to a guy's confidence. Uh, the other, um, Michael, um, Michael? What? Uh, yeah, Michael Vick. Remember, you were talking about him <laughs> earlier. Doug was okay. Vick. How how he was uh, brought in as a as a, earlier uh, being not this podcast specifically, but an earlier episode during our NFL preview. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, he was brought in as a backup, and he's like, "Well, you know, I'm a I'm a backup, so what what do you kind of what do you expect from me?" Yeah, he didn't. He have, people give him grief for his performance, right? Because well, they like, gave him grief for like, his eh. performance within camp because they're like, "Man, we thought he'd really come in here and try and push the you know push." Uh, Smith, you know, uh, Geno Smith, and he's just like, no, I was brought in as the backup. So, how many interceptions yeah, did he throw yeah, last that's what week? I'm doing three. He had more oh. interceptions, and he went two for eight and had three interceptions. That's wow. So more more passes to the other team than yes, uh, more interceptions one. than completions, which is like not good. As Nagy, you don't realize like as you know when when you have a franchise quarterback like Brady or or whatever you just don't realize how bad your team can be with a questionable quarterback like every week's just like all right well what the hell's going to happen this week where the pats you have an idea at least yeah yeah, yeah exactly and they always improve <clears throat> they always improve every season like within the season i mean yeah they're always better at yes. game 12 than game 2 yeah. well i don't know they didn't play so well yesterday uh, well, let's not, let's not do this. <laughs> the thing about the game yesterday was that third down conversion or interception or running play or uh, or controversial turnover, call or controversial or, call that really made the difference. Bad, badly thought out um, challenge. Yeah, but the weather, the weather was there. There was weather for sure. Yeah, there was weather. Yeah, it did exist. There was a and climate. That, I think there was a affected, climate, <laughs> and that affected uh, the teams, uh, either both for the positive, both for the negative, or you know. Pick a side, either way. So uh, you know, all this analysis is good. We're nailing it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Don't we, dismiss me with. Don't dismiss me with that. We definitely are. Don't dismiss. Um, you're very dismissive. One thing I should mention that we haven't talked about in a long time is the uh, mm. Hell in a Cell pay per view, which just took what? place last that week. That we haven't talked about in a long time. We, we haven't talked about wrestling. We in haven't a long talked time. about it even. Oh, wrestling. Oh, wrestling. Right? Yeah. Not just that specific. Uh, Pay per view that you were kind of inferring uh, at towards within uh, about within you. What did you want to say you? about it? I didn't see it. Uh, I thought it was a good show. I, I also didn't show. see it. So talk amongst yourself. No, well, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> well, the uh, WWE is in a bit of trouble, man. The subscribers aren't there. Yeah, these subscribers are more not bad there. news. But bad news more for the news. network, and and that's like their entire and business the model right now. Is well, yes, it, it basically the the company's completely hanging their hat on the network. It's almost like you should, shouldn't change your entire business plan um, out of nowhere for just just for the heck of it. Well, I remember well, they, they wanted the network to come out in like 2012, and then they delayed it to 2014, I guess, to, to get all their ducks in a row. But, you know, people are saying this is kind of um, – of this. people are saying – one article I read is saying that this is kind of maybe a warning for things like uh, HBO if they want to go fully, you know, digital – or even, that's not a. I don't think no. that's a good comparison. HBO is much more wrestling is much more niche than 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 wrestling. Or sorry, than HBO. HBO wrestling is much more niche than wrestling. And they're yeah. saying ESPN too was going to do a, a digital streaming. Just thing. ESPN too. That also makes sense. ESPN also like uh, the wrestling is easily ESPN the one Ocho. that's in most trouble there. Well, just TV and the internet, they're just all combining. It's just it's it's what's happening. I thought that too, and then somebody kind of pointed out. I was like, "Is TV is everything just going to be on like streaming now? Are we going to have no more like cable TV?" I'm like, no, because the Super Bowl will still make ridiculous amounts of money on advertising, so that you'll still have TV for that. Sports? What? I don't all- understand that. I don't understand that at all. Well, you live sports are always going to have live better, sports. Going to have advertisement. Is yeah, what you can say. stream a TV show that aired already, but sports you had to see live. But yeah. what we're just talking about is like UFC has a fight pass, which is live sports. The NFL has 
that uh, the network. The network. And WWE has a network. HBO is going to go. ESPN is going to go. So it, that argument still makes no sense to me. Like, there's going to be advertising in it. It's just it's not just subscription based. Well, also, there's not such good internet service all over the United States either. If you think right. About it like That's that, it's only in the, it's only in the big uh, cities. So I'm saying it's but not. Most it's people not, I'm saying cities. it's not going to go. Yes, most people do, but not everybody. And I'm, I'm not saying talking it's now. Not I'm not go, talking now. I'm talking in like 20 years. It's yeah. just going to be all. I'm not saying in the next five years, but I'm saying it's all going to be. Um, it's all going to be you know one. Yeah, I mean I that we'll that remains to be seen. I mean you can't you know leave the Midwest out in the cold. In 20 years. <laughs> Yeah, in twenty it, years. That, that's not. That's not. It's not going to be a th- like. They're they're all going to have internet access. They all do have internet access. I'm ta- it's just not here, as I'm high speed. Like high right. speed. Yeah. I'll, I'll take the leap on this one that I'm going to be correct, and that in twenty years there's just going to be you know TV and internet are going to be one. I can't wait to write the description of this podcast to be like we spent five minutes talking about internet in the Midwest in 2034. No, we spent three sentences talking about. We're it. We're still going. <laughs> Let's talk about Nebraska. That's an extra right. sentence. What is Omaha going to do? That's my question. The Midwest has very little to do with any of this. Well, I thought that too, and then I was corrected. And maybe my timeline was a little By off. By whom? I just corrected you again, so. By a person. I can't really <laughs> say who, but he's, oh. uh, but he's a big deal. Well, if I say it, it's going to sound really arrogant, so. I'm just gonna no, say. Just say, it. Just I'm just say, gonna it. say is it Keith? Were you hanging out with Keith Olbermann or something? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Why is his name Olbermann, was Keith Olbermann? The, what the name you drop? Yeah, why was because he the ESPN? You, you were talking about ESPN and sports and everything. So right. I just figured that okay. he would have the he would have the end. Sorry, right. that's why. No, it was a, it was a, actually, it was, I want to know. It was a, it was a manager in L.A. and uh, who predicted a lot of interesting stuff, but I'm not gonna nice. I mean, this is just one guy's opinion. Twenty years, Alex. Yeah, maybe twenty years. We'll see that. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> when you listen to the Triple Threat podcast in twenty years, and uh, it'll still be called that, maybe uh, then uh, we can. Uh, you know, well, I think we'll be on Oculus Rift by then. <laughs> <laughs> you, just look, you look to your left, there's Alex. You look to your right, there's Will. You look, hey, you look to your left, there's Alex. You look to your right, there's Alex. Look up, there's Alex. <laughs> we'll be <laughs> we'll be embedded in their into their brains on a chip. On a, on yeah. A, yeah, they'll be able to detect. Um, they'll be able to detect us. Um, All right, so let's think, wrap up this part of the conversation with just <clears throat> I'm right and you guys are wrong. Okay, I actually there's there's a good segue here. Uh, we're talking about chips and brains. So I think this week the uh, MPAA and the Association of Mo- um, Movie Theater Owners in the U.S. said that they were going to ban Google Glass from theaters, which I think makes perfect sense. And people at Google Glass were like, "Hey, man, why is that?" You mean like, morons? Like who actually owns Google Glass? I haven't met very a very person. rich people who can afford to. This yes, manager in L.A. Dude, I know is, he has oh one. God. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Get off your LA manager guy, you pretentious ass. No. <laughs> Sorry, pretentious E S not yet <laughs> well, I, I can't believe it. People think it's something you got worse. To hit the E in ass. Didn't you say e. B- yes. Did you say bitch slap one time a couple weeks ago or something? Yeah, like I did. That? No, he said slap. <laughs> he did you say what, kill some bitches or something? I was talking about wasting bitches. <laughs> wasting yeah, because I was talking about that stupid Deborah Messing show. <laughs> oh man. Which, Does that manager manage Deborah Messing well? Uh yeah, who are yeah. some of his clients? She was with us. Tell me some of his clients. Yeah. Uh, uh, this little guy named uh, Clint Eastwood. No, he doesn't manage him. I think Eastwood manages himself. Uh, I would think so. At, the, at his age, he would too. <laughs> so why would he need? He can't even wrestle his wiener out of his pants to take a leak. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's from. Uh, no, that's from uh, Ready, that's to, from Ready Rumble. to Rumble. Yeah. I... <laughs> oh my God. Self that... Andy, you want to wrestle? We gotta have no, no, no. We have to have a whole podcast about Ready to Rumble. Oh, someday. we should all watch it at the same time and then just do commentary. We'll do commentary. We should definitely do a commentary of Ready so, to Rumble. Yeah, remember, <laughs> don't break the hold until you hear Catalan snap or the crap, or crap in the pants. The pants. Oh my god! That, that, that guy can't won do. Who Oscar? played him? See the point. That was um, uh, Martin Landa. Uh, Martin Landa. Thank you. Okay. Who won an Oscar for Ed Wood? I was gonna say for that movie. For Ready to Rumble. <laughs> for Ready to Rumble, he won the Oscar. Yeah, everyone knows that. Classic. Is Martin Classic. still with us? I think he's dead, isn't he? I think Landa died. Yeah, I thought he did. Okay. Well, Martin Landa, if you're listening to the he's podcast, not with us right now. I'm not. Uh, he's right here with me. Uh, oh, no. Martin Lando. I don't know. Sorry, Martin Lando. <laughs> Yeah, stories of your death have been greatly exaggerated. He's very much still alive. Yeah, he is. Born in 28. Mm, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 1928, he, to be specific. He's Not an old fellow. <clears throat> uh, 
yeah, so Google Glass, um, uh, you can order that on Amazon through our Amazon link. Um, there's no hidden fees or charges, just the same great them, Amazon service. And um, you can't buy it on Amazon? Oh, never mind. You can't buy it, period. Like, it's not it's not widely released yet. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, the, the like, the eight people, these people who have it, and they probably tested it out in Nebraska. So, with their crappy internet service in Nebraska, these people aren't allowed to go into movie theaters with their Google Glass on, and they're getting upset about it? Yeah. That's a little silly. Well, yeah, they were like, oh, I should be able to do it, but it's like, What's yeah. What's with I feel... the hatred on Nebraska? Uh, I'm it's speaking... Good Springsteen uh, album. I'm speaking for... Okay. Uh, I haven't seen the movie either. I'm speaking on behalf of Nebraska, is what I'm speaking of. Okay. Speaking on. Speaking with... Speaking to, uh, speaking of, um, friend of the show, um, at Brad the YM on Twitter, he had a response to uh, last week's show. Uh, he said he loved the Triple Threat podcast, but I agree about the mini sips being a bad treat, but chips are great, he said. But it's not the chips. It's the lack of onion dip. It's Alex is very clear. <laughs> if you're going to give me plain chips, I would like some onion dip with the chips, is what I'm saying. <laughs> It's not the chips. Dip. It's the lack of onion dip. So it's got to be like dip or lack thereof. It's got to be like a neighborly connection. Like you go to one house, trick or treat. Here's the chips. Go to the next house, trick or treat. All right here's the dip. If you go the wrong way though, you, you just go to one house and you're like, here's some onion dip, and you're like, this is weird. You can't dip a Snickers. Like onion dip. I can't dip a Snickers in onion dip. That's ridiculous. You could. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe that would make it amazing. If anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be Matt. Really. Yeah, sure. Why? Why? <laughs> Just you said you could very enthusiastically. That's why. Sorry, I don't know. It's super like agreeable. Though, spirit of adventure. Talking. I thought you were. I thought there was some sort of characterization of me I that I didn't appreciate. I am so looking forward to the description of this podcast. It's going to go. I don't know. <laughs> you're just gonna shrug. It's just gonna be the word shrug, and then well, that, that, that a shrug emoji, right? It's like, not emoji, but a shrug, kind of like. Not everybody can see emojis. You don't know what emojis are? <laughs> no, is that? I would love of, it if Alex oh, didn't know those, what emoji those, was. Those Japanese uh, anime things. No, those are sure. the, 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 the fun little characters. You know what emojis are? <laughs> yeah, I know what emojis. are. Okay, good. I was freaked out for a second there. I was freaked out. Oh, I thought you were like confident. You're like very concerned. I get it now. No, no, no. Yes, because I was like, you're messing. You with know, this, right? <laughs> tell me know. you know tell me you know just kinda, just... i'm l- a little disappointed you guys believe me even for a second but that's all right sorry oh, man pff, sorry whatever that's believe okay that. no that's i think all right i think what we're talking you guys were talking about last week were like they weren't even like no name chips they just came in like a, a plain white bag oh, yeah God. they're and just, they just had like like, like just Black ink on them. They're just like chips. Chip. I'm like, all right, whatever this is. Chip. Chip. Singular have, chip. <laughs> it doesn't even have the S. They can't nope. afford to put the S on there. It just says chip. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking enjoy about. Your, exactly enjoy your bag about. of chips. They weren't chip. even Lay's. They were just like, mm. I, you know what? They're probably like Humpty Sophie's Dumpty man. or something. I think they might have. But been. just weren't. Is that still. A, that's not a thing anymore, is it? Humpty Dumpty? Yeah, Humpty? well, I mean, like the nursery rhyme, that's still a thing, clearly. Yeah, no, 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 the brand says <laughs> it. For sure. Rhyme. I was looking at chips not too long ago. You know what blows Marvel... people mind, people's minds when they're just like, oh my God, they never say he's an egg in that rhyme? You're like, nope, could be anything. Could be well, a porcelain statue. That's a good point. Um, mm-hmm. Humpty Dumpty. Or Dumpty, Fabergé but, egg. Humpty Dumpty, by the way, is going to be um, released by DC. In uh, 2017, yeah, according to the <laughs> list there. Yeah, yeah that Humpty actually Dumpty. would not surprise me in the least. Um, Humpty, wasn't there – oh, gosh. I feel like there was some sort of Humpty Dumpty-esque Batman villain. If you go on if you go on Wikipedia and you look yeah, at the list of the, Batman villains, cart- you will be astonished. Yeah, on the cartoon, I think that uh, – I don't, I, don't cl- no, I don't even think it was the cartoon. I think it might have even been in the, the comics and the Adam West um, – TV series. I'm Adam West. Uh, oh, uh, can I just? Sorry, well, just before you even start talking, uh, <laughs> I did start. Will, talking sorry about though. this. But please sh- shut up. Sh- I have something. Sh- sh- you no, can only interrupt until me last week's uh, podcast, where I couldn't remember what season three of Community's Halloween episode was, Uh-oh. and it's the Seven Spooky Stories one that I completely, just completely forgot. So I watched it oh. uh, on Halloween itself and felt really bad that uh, that I completely missed it. So, sorry about that. Uh, Dan Harmon and to, Dan uh, Herman. to you, uh, Donnell Glover. <laughs> Donnell Glover. Uh, I don't know why he's getting that name. Um, oh, well, uh, oh, they talk about it in 30 Rock where they, he's like, we need more diversity. What's that black kid <laughs> community's name? And she's like, Donnell Glover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like something of that extent. So, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you something weird that Rotten Tomatoes is doing now. 
It's not that weird. Mm-hmm. It's an extra service. Uh, they're reviewing TV seasons. Yes. Like, yes, the season mm-hmm. of this show is rated 97%. So, like, you can mm-hmm. actually, I guess as your season goes, you could be like, Walking Dead, season 5, 97. And by the end, it's like, uh, 26. 20. Is Defying Gravity on there? Uh, I don't think so. No. I saw I somebody mean, reference Defying Gravity. It has to be, like, it has to out be of nowhere shows, this week. It, was it has weird. to be shows that exist for longer than uh, eight weeks. Actually, well, okay, so the. Uh, I really a, wanted that show to be good for the record. For the record. Hey, there was a rocket hey, ship. So did I. Imagine. Yeah. There was a rocket ship that blew up this week. I have Yes, called that. the it Antares. Was co- I, was looking, yeah. I was looking it up right now. Yeah. And, Will, why is that relevant? Oh, because the Antares is the name of the ship in uh, Defying Gravity that. Um, yeah. Is supposed to go on a voyage to the stars, and it goes to Venus, and then it, and that's it. All the way uh, to Uranus. Um, <laughs> and actually, nailed it. R- really, <laughs> really, Alex, really. Uranus jokes always kill. <laughs> <laughs> they changed the name of that planet in twenty seven and twenty two sixteen to end that stupid joke once and for all. What's it called they now? Really should, Eurectum. <laughs> um, fifth of an Antares I launch that's from uh, is Futurama, Futurama. Uh, I think Antares is actually the name of like their type of rocket and uh, the name of the specific oh. rocket itself was Cygnus CRS Orb 3 and Cygnus Maybe. is significant if you're a Rush fan because Cygnus is the name of the ship in uh, Cygnus X1 the great song that ends uh, Farewell to Kings everybody knows that album though Rush Quiz by the way coming next week a oh, great band with 86 yeah, albums. Holy Triumvirate. A band with 86 albums that have been around for 40 years. Uh, is it on the end of Farewell to Kings? I think so. I don't know. No one knows. We're not going to back you up on this. Cygnus um, X1. Yeah, you're was right. that a Virgin flight or uh, different one? Different no, one. this was, was an uh, unmanned. This was an unmanned vessel. So no one, NASA? no one, pat, no one died in that one. No, not not NASA either. It was. It was uh, had a lot of ship. Space. Yeah, but it what launched. It launched from. I think it launched it's from California. The, it's not SpaceX. Was it SpaceX? No, it wasn't SpaceX. Oh my gosh! There are more. Uh, but it was doing a trip to the space station, was it? No, that, it says, yes, like it a says supply run. It says NASA yes. on the patch, though. Does it say NASA? Yeah, on there? it says. NASA. Okay, well, it was, it was unmanned, which is weird. So that in terrors, that could do the Kessel run in twelve parsecs. No, that's the Millennium Falcon. Nope. By the nope. way, parsecs is a measure. But did of, I get both uh, those things right? Twelve. Yeah. Is that the quote? Is that the quote? Twelve parsecs. Yeah, yeah. It's not called Kessel Run? It is a Kessel it's Run. It's called Kessel yeah. Run. There you, you go. Heard of the Millennium I, Falcon. I don't care if I got everything else wrong. I'm proud of me just for the ship that here. made the Kessel Run less than 12 parsecs. I'm about just happy to be here. fighters, not these local cruisers, mind you. I'm talking about the big Karelian fighters. She's fast enough for you, old man. Uh, anyway. That's a great line. She's fast enough for you, old man. Uh, I line. should mention uh, a shout out to my friend, uh, Chris Brody, friend of the show. Uh, he hyped this uh, cr- uh, birthday present for me, he hyped it greatly. He hyped it greatly, and I received it on Saturday, and um, I'll Instagram and, and tweet a photo of it. But it's a bottle of Skywalker Ranch Pinot Noir wine. Oh, awesome. Certainly the so most unique uh, birthday present I've received. So is George just out there picking grapes, and he's like, I bet I can make those into a – I'm going to stop these and put it in a wine. Yeah. Sorry, my <laughs> my George Lucas is very much the Patton Oswalt impression of George Lucas. Hey, it's a, it's everybody's impression of George Lucas. Yeah, he's just like he's he's just you see what they're like when they're little kids. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care at all, at all. Yeah, no, he's just uh he's just picking grapes out there in Napa. I mean Dave Mustaine has his own uh his own wine too. And actually last week when we were Francis Ford at- Coppola has a big winery. We we were out in uh well because he lives so in what trope winery, North, of course. Northern California. When we were um on our way to Euclid at this little liquor store in Nanaimo, I actually found... He used to play uh, first base for the uh, Red Sox. <laughs> He's retiring, actually. Oh, you can is it. retired. This yeah. guy's like the Greek god of getting on base. Um, well, then I shall retire. He took that hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for knowing what, uh, what that was, despite the <laughs> horrific impressions. Uh, anyway, if I finish my thought, I, I found a bottle of. I Trooper, wish you would. I found a bottle of Trooper beer in Nanaimo, and that is that, beer is that like is, actual Iron Maiden branded? Uh, Bruce Dickinson, yeah, he. Um, oh well, he was the guy who developed that, and uh, yeah, Mustaine has his own. Uh, what's Mustaine's? The Bruce called? Dickinson. Uh, not the one from the Blue Oyster <laughs> Cult <laughs> skit. Oh, okay. Christopher so, Walken, by the way. Um, are you guys going to watch him play Captain Hook in the live TV version? Kind of have to. <laughs> kind of going to be amazing. Uh, 
Uh, it should be interesting. That crocodile uh, is in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do any impressions. Uh, this is I awesome. I wanted to do that so bad, but this I, I lost my failed. hand to the crocodile. Oh, watch. Did you guys see uh, Kevin Spacey on The Tonight Show? Uh, him, 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 and, uh, him and Fallon do a little impression off. It's, it's really good. You should check it oh, out. That'll be fun. Five minutes of your time. You can handle it. I think Fallon has Jay on this week. I wonder how many times he'd be like, uh, just, don't, uh, just don't take my show. <laughs> I wonder how many he, times they don't he mention do that. He didn't mention it that much when he was taken over. I think it's probably a sore spot. Oh, okay. No, I don't think, Jay, Jay, ha- I don't think Jay cares. I, just, I, think, I think he's like, no, nah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty settled. I'm going to retire now. Oh. That's, that's my Jay Leno. It is on par with Alex's everything. Many <laughs> impressions. Many. Someday I'll do Marcel the Shell on this uh, podcast. Yeah. Who is Marcel the Shell? Oh my God. Marcel the Shell with shoes on? Uh, Matt, you should look it up. It's, it's... <laughs> Matt, come on. You should look it up. Three videos. It'll take 12 minutes of your time. Yeah, Just but Alex, sometimes people don't have time to look these things up. I mean, could you give us like maybe a little soundbite or an impression or something to to uh, wet, wet the listeners' no. appetites? Well, uh, for, uh, you know what? I don't want to tease for next week, but because Matt hasn't seen it yet, I need to. I need him to see it to be able to to grade me properly. Okay. Plus, I'm okay. not sure this mic, this microphone might screw it up. Like this microphone screws up most of my impressions. It just doesn't translate well. Uh, once <laughs> oh, it's, you know, okay. We've already in my head, it's perfect. Out my mouth, pretty good. Into the microphone, just pure ass. We've also acknowledged uh, Blue Technologies Yeti microphones, uh, mm-hmm. and they're friends of the show. So I don't know how you yeah. can throw them under the bus so aggressively. And I didn't until from you said seemingly that, nowhere. Yeah, thanks. Mm. That Most is, people uh, want to put that together. <clears throat> that is. Most people want that together. They might be an enemy of the show now, like McDonald's Canada, who claims they use real eggs, and it looks like microwaved uh, straight from the, I don't know, container. Crate. Oh, everything they make is a, is a microwaved goat turd. Hey, but don't tell me you're using fresh cracked eggs when you're not. Shout out to Chris O'Hara for pointing that out uh, while he was somewhere, okay. I think. For I have a, a question wedding. about that, actually. No. I have a que- what was obvious about it being... <laughs> no. About it not being freshly cracked. <laughs> Have you okay? Look at like what they advertise. You can see the yolk, you can see the white, and then his was just like folded, uh, like yellow, uh, questionable material. I I feel like that can happen if you kind of scramble it and you put it in a circular dishy thing when you're grilling it. I'm gonna defend McDonald's on here. McDonald's it gets. Uh, oh, you would right. defend McDonald's. Whoa, you. Skip the <laughs> You would. McDonald's, they uh, well, had a hard time. another thing, Matt. Just begin. No, no, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> no, clearly. As I, well, as I mentioned money. last week, just pure <sighs> crap coming out of here. <laughs> okay. Me specifically, you guys, you're golden. So you were the person who wrote that iTunes review that said um, pure crap, really. Just pure crap coming out of here. Is that what you said? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't write that, uh, but I will this week. I don't think we have any. Review, new reviews ones? in the next last like three months. <laughs> well, I like check. I said, everybody write and reviews our, our show. They they love it. Yeah, thanks everyone. They're a big fan. Um, do you guys have your Twitter picture for this week? I didn't pick oh, them. Crud. Well, let's go. Let's go. Look we're really, real quick. Talk we're really bad at somebody. doing. Uh, we're really bad at doing home homework. By the way. Yeah. Well, I mean that just carries over from. Uh... <laughs> From Mine's school. not even my favorite tweet from my this week isn't even isn't even something I said. It's just something I retweeted. But uh, why am I looking at mine? I'm not gonna rate mine. Oh, no, you're this not. This is horrific. <laughs> well, you have 7,400 tweets on the nose. Look this at is that. horrific. Well, you gotta I think stop using time... the word. Me? Horrific. Yes. Why? Yeah, it's just I, I just find you're uh, abusing that word. You think Abuse I'm over? The... That's hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. you guys are being very dismissive of me this week. And I Sorry, not I'm not trying to be. There's nothing. I don't, I'm, I'm gosh, just thinking. I, I have respect for your intelligence. I think you can find a better word than horrific. If I, I had a million dollars by bare naked ladies, is not horrific. Uh, it's and, a very bad song. And by the way, I think you guys feel stupid about mentioning Gion last week, but that's uh, less said about that, the better. Uh, well, I still haven't been on the internet since then. What's up? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Uh, okay. I tweeted about it. I said all I had to say in my tweet. That was it. Uh, that was going to be my choice for the week. Oh, okay. Well, then, forget well, Matt, what I just said. Matt, read it out. Um, it was just something about knowing more about John Gabashi's sex life than you ever wanted to, which is fair. A we said a, a million times, which I think is a like, million times. That's too many times, Alex. It's, it's horrific. 
the times. <laughs> oh my God. You're exaggerating. <laughs> Your exaggerations are horrific. By the they way, are, uh, not good. We we liked uh, Alex is around the fourteen hundred range of tweets. Matt's in the thirty four hundred range, and I'm in the seventy four hundred range. So looks mm-hmm. like we all. Mm-hmm. I'm ahead by a little bit. I think that's You're the, ahead uh, by a little lot. Will I liked the uh, tweet uh, that was just a shout out to Truffles, our seventeen year old cat. That's true. Yeah, Truff, I friend of the that. show. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I can't find anything good. I can't find anything good either. Well, we didn't. We did not have a good week Oof, on Twitter. Bad tweet week, guys. Yeah, bad, bad tweet. Week. I guess I'll call it a tweet. If you do want to find us on Twitter, if you want to judge <laughs> our tweets yourselves, yeah, you can find. Matt I am at MP Vaughn on Twitter. Vaughn on Twitter. Alex is at, at Ivonix. E- guess how that's spelled. I'm, I'm just gonna. I know how it's I'm gonna going. give you. Yes. I, look, I'm gonna give everybody a letter every week. So this week, the 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 clue is E. Mm. That's the clue. Like which it. is also the, we tried to spell it letter by letter, and you screwed it. Um, I don't remember that. Uh, that mm. obviously it never happened. Um, check yeah, out so, my tweet about Will Chamberlain and how someone drew him. <laughs> just check it out. So it out. just check it out on Twitter. Um. All right, this is obviously not working. So, uh, Alex, uh, I'm going to give a <laughs> E. That's the clue. Uh, and then... Uh, what about you, Will? And then uh, I'm at William C. Vaughn. Oh. Spelled just like the famous actor. Mm. I was at a restaurant the other day, and I said, put my name down. And I said, Vaughn? And he said... Vaughn? And I said, yeah. And he wrote down the letters B O N D. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Thank you so much. The name is James Bond. That is me. I am Bond. Your James James Bond Bond recommendation of the week is Thunderball. No, Honor Majesty's Secret Service. People don't like it because George Lazenby's in it, but it's one of the. It's one of the best. Mm. Uh, it's got a great, um, it's got a great uh, theme song that has no lyrics, but it'll get stuck in your head. Watch. I like the one with the. It's if I had a million dollars, of, uh, no, that's the worst one. Don't ever say it. that's never happened to James Bond. Hey, where'd never that happened. car go? It's invisible. Was that the end of the day? Yeah. 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 I know. It's the Aston. It's the Aston Martin Baby vanquish. From the trial. He's missing. Oh no! I know. <laughs> that's Sorry. Jeffrey's I know. dog. Oh my God! My favorite in Blue Harvest is when he's playing. Um, the guy who Han shoot first. What's uh, Guido? 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 Nope. nope. Guido? <laughs> yeah, his name's. That's he's from the Jersey Guido. Shore. Guido. That's GTO. offensive. Uh, yeah, where he's just like get shot, and he's like, "Why nay? Why nay? Why nay?" Anyway, sorry. So uh, let's end on that foot. I'm. You guys can record on another one without foot? me right after this. Let's end on that, that foot, you guys. Because this episode be blows. It's the worst. Blows. Is the worst thing we've ever done. Uh, next yep. week, what are we going to talk about? I have no. We didn't even know what we're we'll going get there. with this week. How we'll you get there. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to figure week. it out. This, this right on air, this. right now. I think next week we should also we should lose another member. I think one yeah. of you guys should should not be there. What do you guys think? <laughs> rock <laughs> paper, <laughs> rock paper, scissors. Right now. Now you guys got to okay. talk amongst yourselves. Next week, one of the members of the Triple Thread Podcast will not be there. Will he come dun, back? Dun, dun, dun. Probably. Will probably he actually will. be there? Yeah, he'll probably be there too. Yeah, I'll probably be there. Yeah, we definitely. forget this next week, almost uh, uh, assuredly. Almost definitely. All right, thanks for uh, listening to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Review us on iTunes. Thanks for your enthusiasm, Will. Uh, and uh, I'm going to cue the music. There it is. And we'll see you next week. Why do you think it's the uh, Sanford, Sanford and Sons? Sons? <laughs> because I don't know, like a Todd Glass podcast one time played it like ten times, and I was in my <laughs> scene. Also, yeah, check out heard. any stand up by Rory Scovel because it's hysterical. Speaking Rory Scovel, friend of the show, very, uh, very good friend of the show. Uh, I remember that uh, Jay Farrow did a, a SNL cold open to begin like two seasons ago. I think he's like, we have a Sanford and Sons economy. Uh, da 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 da. I assume that's Obama. There's also one where Peter Griffin played that uh, on a harmonica on his butt, and he played it to that song. <laughs> <laughs> so check that out. <laughs> I am Googling that as we speak. And as this we podcast speak. podcast immediately. Peter, Peter Griffin, Griffin, Sanford and Butt Sun. Harmonica. Butt yeah, Sanford Sons, Butt Harmonica. Done. All right. I just wrote Peter Butt Harmonica. Ugh, don't click images. Don't click images. Uh, And if you like funny butt things, butt fumble. All right, folks. Yeah.